Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. So we're going to be hunting for Aegon again. Now, if you watched my last video, you know the disappointment is real. However, I actually feel much better because the only reason that I'm really wanting this Aegon is for the Necropolis that I'm going to be doing uh, early January before the 15th. However, I can just go in with my five star ranked up and ascended. It may take a little bit more uh, revised, but it'll be okay. The biggest thing is that I won't have to use uh, Kate Bishop. All right, so here we go. We've got 154 shards. And we're going to go ahead and grab one of these and let that spin out. Now, I had planned if I didn't get um, Aegon as a six star before, you know, about the first of January or that first week in January, that I would then just pull the trigger and rank up Kate Bishop. But I don't really use her. And someone on my stream convinced me not to uh, go in with Kate Bishop if I'm not used to her. All right, first one is a mutant. No surprise there. Um, because they were like, the Necropolis is probably not a good place to uh, learn her. And who knows? And I, you know, I don't want to rank her up for the Necropolis and then that's it. I got other people that I would love to rank up that I believe have more of a use outside of Necropolis for me personally. And so now I'm more relaxed. If I don't get him, I can still use Aegon and I'll just maybe farm uh, a bit more uh, revives, which I hate doing. And I've got the um, units if I need to, but I have a lot in my stash. So we, we should be good for at least one path without having to touch the units. Uh, even with the five-star ascended uh, Aegon. All right, but we would still love to get that six-star. Would save me a lot of grief. Mm, two mutants in a row. Um, we have a level up on right now. If I got Aegon in this opening... I would probably go ahead and take him up to rank five this level up. If I don't, it's okay. I got others that I, I would love to take up. Not Kate Bush Bishop either. All right. Well, I do see uh, Aegon in here, even though it doesn't matter if he's in the real or not, but he is in the real. So... We have a chance if Kabam will just give him to me. But I will only do one path and then I'll probably wait on exploration until I have a six star version. All right. Nope. Woo, that's three mutants in a row, is it? Hey, skill? At least she's a max sig. But hey, this is a dual class crystal, not a mutant crystal. I, I do remember when I was trying to get the five star Aegon, I opened up a ton of the dual class and I finally ended up getting him on a, like a cyber weekend deal. And then I got him in the dual uh, class ones later when I was going for somebody else. I forgot who I was going for then. Um, but yeah, Aegon doesn't seem, and the thing is, I'm not the biggest Aegon fan, except for this kind of content, you know, Necropolis. Otherwise, I'm not using him, but he can save me a lot. Even the five star will save me more than Kate Bishop, since I don't know how to use her. All right. What do we got here? Okay, I was going to say, at least give me, and that actually is an awakening that I've wanted 
Yes. So that's actually good. I just realized that. I was like, are you going to give me another mutant? But yeah. So that works. Do I have him? No, I don't have him as a six star. I mean, a seven star. But yeah, I've been waiting to awaken him. And I can awaken him with gems, but I didn't want to. Uh-oh. Hit the wrong button. Well, let's go back in there. So, that was a good awakening. I'm good with that. Come on, Aegon. Show yourself. Are you in there? There's also another skill I don't have, which is Black Widow. So, I think out of this... I'm trying to think. Out of this crystal, only... Maybe Black Widow and uh, Aegon. I'm trying to think of the mutants that I don't have. I, I don't know. So it'll be a surprise to me. All right. What do we got? Oh, it would have been nice if there was an Aegon that went around because I knew it was going to slip over to the next one. And I like um, Hawkeye. Don't get me wrong, but... Kate Bishop kind of came in and stole all his thunder. Kate Bishop is what Hawkeye should have been. That would have been awesome. But I always liked him. All right, let's see. I'm trying to think who else would I want even for uh, the SIG levels. Not really. Well, Omega Red, he definitely benefits from more SIG levels, so could get him. Wouldn't mind that. My Nick Fury is already SIG 200. I already have a seven-star Bishop, and I don't think he really needs to be awakened. Um, and I took mine up to rank two, so unawakened. All right. Boo. Y'all know I don't like Craven, right? I think that's an awakening, too. Yeah, that'd be the only way he was getting awakening. I certainly wasn't going to waste a gem on him. Tell y'all that. All right. Who knows? Maybe they'll make him better one day. To be fair, I don't care. I really don't like him. Ooh, um, a Tuma. That could be interesting. I think, doesn't his um, awakened ability increase the damage? That might be. Oh, and I, I don't think I've awakened um, my Wolverine. I don't think I did. Maybe I did. I'll have to look later, um, but we'll see. Other than that, mm -mm, I can't think of anybody that I would really be looking to get for SIG levels. All right, what do we got? Taskmaster, really? Are y'all really scraping the bottom? Although Taskmaster, he's not the worst champion, and he can be fun to play, but... He definitely needs a tune-up. Definitely. All right. Let's see if they'll give me an, an Aegon out of this thing. But I'm actually, if I can get Aegon, that would be awesome. I will, you know, rank him up, uh, this level up. But if I don't get Aegon, I have somebody else that I want to rank up that... For me personally, I would use way more and like a lot more. And in fact, you might see in the next war. So I got mixed feelings. Because if I get him, I got... Well, actually, we'll see. If I do get him, I don't have to rank him up this level up. 
Hey, Jubilee. I don't. Is she awakened? No, nah, she's awakened. I don't mind getting a lot of mutant because I got a lot of mutant champions to level up. So that mutant ISO, yes. I need it. But, yeah, if I were to get Aegon, I would just um, rank him up next level up. Because I'm not going to do the Necropolis until uh, the 1st of January sometime. So, I'll still be able to rank up, you know, for fun uh, champs I want. And then we'll go from there. That should be interesting, though. And I have that um, 200 Sig Stones that we got. So he would uh, definitely go right to Sig 200. Definitely. All right. What do we got now? Why he came by to wave at me? Y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw him wave at me. At least we saw him in the reel. Now, I heard that Nightcrawler, who I like, I actually like Nightcrawler, fighting with him. Um, more Mutant ISO uh, and more Seven Star Shards. But I heard that they're going to be giving him a tune-up or maybe a rework. I'm not sure. But I'm looking forward to that. But you see, I got champs I want to take up. And uh, he's still rank one, I think. Yeah, I think I still have him at rank one. I don't think I took him to rank three yet. But now I got plenty of mutants to take up. So I need bunches of uh, mutant uh, ISO, which this level up is going to get used. Definitely going to get used. All right. But yeah, come on, Aegon. You waved at me before. Nah, no Aegon. That's definitely not Aegon. Far from Aegon. But, more mutant. How many skill have I gotten out of this? Oh, man. I don't know. But, hey, I will be using that ISO. It will not expire. That much I promise you. Huh. Trying to think. I think we got mostly mutant. We got that falcon. And what other skill did we get? Did I get a Nick Fury? Can't remember. But we could get a little bit more uh, skill in here. I actually don't have a bunch of skill champions to take up unless I got Aegon. Okay, that's a skill at least. Is she was she awakened already? Yeah, she was already awakened. Okay. Once again, they're not wanting me to get that egg on, so let's uh, do this last one. And let's see if they will give us an egg on. But like I said, I'm going to have fun this level up regardless. This egg on, in fact, um, I have some... Uh, rank up gems that I was saving for him. I may not. Um, if he don't come right now, I'm going to use those for somebody else and the Sig Stones. And if I get him later on, then we'll work on getting him up there. But until then, I got better things to do. All right, last crystal. And another mutant, mostly mutant, out of these uh, this dual class crystal. But that's okay, because I need mutant ISO. 
All right. Let me see here. How many do we have? All right. 3,640. Look how much I have in the stash. 619. You think that's enough? I think that's enough. All right. And I do have... Let's see. We can round this out. Yeah. Let's open this up. Quick tap it. Five star um, relic. Thor? Is that new? I think I already had him. No, it was new. I'll take that. New relics. That means I can put them on more people. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's pop them. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, I didn't think so. I think I have all the four stars. And I think it always says awakened, even if they are awakened already. It's very strange. All right. I think that should do it, guys. One more. One more. Oh, too loud. Um, we got the rewards from Battlegrounds and a couple of other events. And I had like 10,000 six-star shards uh, to collect. So one more try. One more try for uh, Aegon. And we'll see. But I already have my plan on who I'm going to be taking up. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. All right. Aegon, are you in there? Yeah, you still hiding. That's okay. And I will have a... Um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, I'll have a video, nice little rank-up video coming. One that I'm actually more excited about than getting an egg on, honestly. Anyway, that's going to do it. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.